standardized installation specifications for fresh air ventilation systems, positioning and settings out. 1. Construction drawing confirmation. Check on-site whether the drawings match the room type. Confirm host location. The host location needs to take into account factors such as not disturbing residential areas, short distance pipelines, easy layout, and clean outdoor air intake. Don't forget to reserve power and maintenance area locations. Confirm the position of the distributor. The position of the distributor needs to comprehensively consider the rationality of branch pipe drilling. Don't forget to reserve an independent maintenance port. Confirm the position of the external air outlet. The fresh air outlet should be ranged in a clean air area. Suggest setting fresh air vents and exhaust vents on different walls. If it needs to be placed on the same wall, the fresh air inlet should be located horizontally or below the exhaust outlet. The linear distance between the fresh air outlet and the exhaust outlet should not be less than 1 meter. If there are pollutant discharge outlets and heat discharge equipment nearby, the fresh air outlet should be located horizontally or below it, and the distance should not be less than 1.5 meters. Confirm the position of indoor air vents. When downstairs, the air supply outlet should be set in the deepest part of the room, and the return air outlet should be ranged diagonally with it, and it is recommended to have a distance of at least 3 meters. The toilet and kitchen will produce polluting gases, so it is not recommended to install the return air outlet, and the position of the air outlet should not affect the later ceiling. And soft installation, when providing crosswind, it is recommended to set up independent vents installed at the door for indoor air supply. Confirm pipeline routing. The fresh air pipeline should avoid crossing with other pipelines and not affect the suspended ceiling. Confirm pipeline routing. Confirm the number and location of openings and mark the size of openings. It is strictly prohibited to hit the main reinforcement and it is recommended that the aperture should not exceed one-third of the beam height. When opening multiple holes, it is recommended that the space between holes exceed 100 millimeters. External wall drilling must be inclined outward and downward by 1% to 2% to prevent rainwater from flowing back. Confirm the position of wire controller. Pay attention to the size, position, and independence of wire controllers. 2. Project Disclosure Clarify the disclosure content with the project manager and installation personnel of various professions. 3. Setting out According to the final drawings, on-site setting out. Installation 1. Construction Preparation Confirm construction conditions. Check if the construction tools are complete. 2. Host Installation before installing the machine, a power-on test should be conducted. When lifting, shock pads should be installed and fixed with double nuts. The distance between the floor slab should be more than 1 cm, avoiding top installation and paying attention to maintaining a horizontal position can be covered with a dust cover on the host for protection. 3. Distributor Installation the distributor should be installed horizontally. Branch outlets that are not connected to pipelines should be sealed with plugs or avoid disassembly to prevent air leakage. When installing the air valve, it should be fully opened and installed in the design position. Pay attention to the position of the knob for later adjustment. For main pipeline connection, it is recommended to use a sound absorbing pipe for connection on the motor side of the host. The silencing pipe needs to be straightened and not in a compressed state. The outer side of the host room is connected to the main pipe with a flange soft joint. It is not recommended to change the diameter or add elbows if a diameter change is required. A Y-shaped T connection can be used 50 centimeters away from the host. For outdoor side air ducts in severely cold areas, it is recommended to carry out insulation treatment to prevent the generation of condensation water. 
5. Installation of external air outlet It is recommended to use rainproof louver vents with drainage outlets for the external air outlets. The gaps between the ducts and holes are filled with foaming agents. External air outlets and holes need to be sealed with structural adhesives. 6. A branch pipeline connection It is recommended to use one pipeline for once installation when the pipeline is bent. Pipe clamps need to be fixed on both sides of the bend. If the bending radius of the pipeline is smaller than its minimum bending radius, a 90 elbow can be used for connection. Sealing accessories should be installed during quick connect connections. Sealing accessories should be installed during quick connect connections. The sealing ring needs to be installed at the first or second groove of the port. After the pipeline connection is completed, it is necessary to use pipeline identification stickers to distinguish the direction of the supply and return air pipelines. 7. Pipeline Passing Beams Methods The method of pipeline passing beams can be divided into through beams and around beams. There are several ways to pass through beams, including single hole in variant diameter passing through beams. There are several ways to pass through beams, including single hole in variant diameter passing through beams, single hole reduced diameter passing through beams, and double hole variable diameter passing through beams. There are various ways to pass around beams, such as constant diameter passing around, shield pipe passing around, elliptical tunnel passing around, etc. 8. Installation of End Silencer Pipe Suggested installing an end silencer pipe within 20 cm of the front end of the air outlet adapter to reduce air outlet noise. 9. Now Air Outlet Adapter Connection The air outlet adapter can freely retract and rotate, making it convenient for later installation of air outlet. Pay attention to the reserved height range of the ceiling and the stretchable length. Range of the adapter during installation. The installation of the adapter must be covered with a dust cover to prevent environmental pollution of the pipeline system during construction. Tender installation of indoor air vents. After the indoor decoration is completed, select the appropriate air vent and connect it to the air vent adapter. 11. Controller Installation the installation of the controller requires independent wiring to ensure accurate wiring. 12. Installation of filtration equipment In areas with severe environmental pollution, additional separate filtration equipment can be added, and it should be installed on the outdoor fresh air duct of the fresh air ventilation machine room. Project Debugging Check if the controller is operating normally and if there is any abnormal noise from the host. After balancing the system flow air adjustment, test and record the values of each air outlet. The measured value of fresh air volume should not be less than 95% of the designed air volume. The air volume of each air outlet shall not be less than 85% of the designed air volume. Project Acceptance the key items for project acceptance include host hoisting acceptance, pipeline laying acceptance, indoor air outlet installation acceptance, and external air outlet installation acceptance, ETC. After passing the acceptance, fill out the acceptance form and sign for confirmation.